I'm gonna go over the penguin that I've been working on. Stock penguin kit, basically. I'm using a UHF radio link system. This is the Shearer version six receiver that I've got here. It's a diversity receiver running two antenna. They're set in a V positioning. So as the plane banks, there's at least one of these antenna trying to have good polarization. It doesn't always work out depending on what maneuver you're doing, but for longer range flights where you may just be banking, that's how you'd want to set them up. I did end up needing to cut two holes to mount my UHF antenna, and I've tried to place it as far as I can from the video transmitter, which is up here on the canopy. It also helps to counterbalance a heavier battery you're gonna have in front to add it to the tail. The 3300 up to 5000 size batteries that I'm using, this is a pretty good position for the counterbalance. I don't have too much weight past that that's not stock. You could move that radio system back there. It's just a, a balance game, so you can figure that. On the front of the plane, I've got the GoPro pan tilt module in effect here. All the videos I've been making have been utilizing this. I do like the layer lens on the front of the GoPro. That gives it some nice protection. The GoPro lens is really expensive to change and this little lens ends up being about eight bucks or so if you scratch or damage that. I'm running a 5.8 system on this plane. It's utilizing the Immersion RC 600 milliwatt transmitter, the Blue Beam 5.8 antenna. It's lightweight, it's small, it uses low power. It has a lot of channels that can work together to get a couple people flying in formation. It's a really nice setup. From a canopy position to be right in here, it gets good airflow over it, keeps it cool, and gives it nice antenna position uh, as opposed to being tucked in lower or you know, putting the antenna somewhere on the nose. It's sort of a central position and for the most part gets good line of sight to wherever the ground station may be. The GPS unit I also wanted to make sure was as far from the video transmitter as possible. So that is back here in the tail and I've had great results with it back here all by itself. It's actually past the radio receiver antenna. I just want to keep it away from the video transmitter and that's pretty good distance here. So the GPS also has a good visible line of sight to the sky, maybe blocked a little bit here by the motor, but I'm easily able to lock nine to 11 satellites where I fly uh, with this setup. So that's working out pretty nice. The power combo I'm using is based off the 3516, 1350 kV high max outrunner. It's got a 9.6 prop on it. The system I'm running is off the Thunderbird 56 ESC. There's actually a Penguin power pack now set up that's gonna give you an even better, higher rated ESC and it's gonna have a better UBEC on it. So you can power some of your servos, RC stuff off of that, no problem. The servos have all held up. Electronics have all held up that came stock with the kit. Haven't had any mechanical failures, nothing. And I've been pushing it pretty hard, trying to, trying to find some weakness. I've left the canopy stock. When I pull back, you can see I've, I've just got everything for the canopy all going up here. Just enough slack that I can get in and work on it if I need. Of course, everything is detachable and that's all gonna come pretty standard with any of the cabling you get from ready-made. Use the Velcro base, get some Velcro on your batteries and you can easily adjust any of the different sized batteries around very quickly to make sure you've got good CG. Now, there's a lot going on in the Eagle Tree OSD and I've got it fully blown out here with most of the extra modules you can get. The airspeed module, I've got the altimeter and then the Guardian is gonna be up here. And that's definitely at the CG from a left to right perspective. It may be a little high, low, hard to say, but so far it's worked out and the plane flies really stable when I'm utilizing the Guardian stabilization. Really all this craziness is just going in and out of my OSD Pro module. And again, I have it on Velcro. It's easily removable. If I wanted to take out the whole OSD, that would not be a hard thing to do. That also allows me to adjust the OSD to give all this big pile of, of wiring, which ends up being some weight, an easy adjustment. Thanks for watching. This episode brought to you by ReadyMade RC.